one person here than it is live for you. Um, but I am making the Erica Bowler bag by Orosa Patterns, only I've printed it at 85% and it's super cute. Um, I think I printed it at 85%, but either way, when you print a pattern smaller and there are um, cut measurements, what you want to do is just multiply that by the percentage at which you printed it, and then you'll know what to cut those out to. So that's what we did, and I am super excited. Um, I have changed this up a little bit so that it's quicker to sew and it uses a little less stuff, I guess. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to finish this bag. I'm not sure. Dorothy still hasn't fallen asleep for her nap and she's just kind of like kicking her legs around, but she's safe and not screaming her head off. So let's, let's go. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. What did I do? Oh, my belt. Oh, my belt came loose. That's okay. I know how to fix it. I was playing around trying to like clean my machine and I guess I loosened the belt. Okay, back on. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jeanette. Okay, did I fix it? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, my hands are a mess. Hold, please. Can't have dirty hands while we're sewing. It's just not gonna turn out well. Okay. Hi everybody. Need to make sure you guys can actually see the Um, so what I did to piece the front panel together is I just added a <laughs> Charlie um, added an inch to the top portion of that piece and the bottom portion of that piece that you like tape together um, just so I wouldn't be wasting too much vinyl. Um, but this is printed at 85%. I'm pretty sure. Also, just a reminder, the zipper sale is tomorrow, Wednesday, May 12th at 6 p.m. So if you needed zippers and you've been asking, when are they being released? Here we go. Um, Norma, if you are messaging me about like a business related thing, please email me. I try not to deal with like business stuff through Facebook Messenger because things get lost. Okay, so there's my main panel and then I'm gonna work on the handles. These are printed, not printed, these are cut at three inches wide by 21 inches long, I think. Correct. Ugh, I love this vinyl. This vinyl is from My Punk Broidery. Um, and I've been really having fun with these mini versions of the Erica because I feel like they can be a little more playful instead of um, like being really classy and professional in a way. I mean, obviously you can be playful with any bag. Uh, Norma, it's more me no at gmail.com or you can just use the contact me portion on my website. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this. If not, I will start another live once she finally goes to sleep. 
sure she will. She's just kind of laying there, flailing. Just go to sleep. Um, so I'm not doing the handles the same way. Just kind of making handles like I normally would. Um, are you live the same day time each week? Definitely not. <laughs> I wish I were that organized, but there's no way. Then it would be like something I had to do and it would just make me anxious. And I'd probably avoid it. Okay. <laughs> we all scramble when we get the notifications. Oh, we gotta go! Thundercats are go! Don't disappoint for those who dropped everything to come hang out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think the Erica bag is a really, really nice size. Um, but there was definitely room to print it out smaller. So it's super cute. It's still a totally decent size for an adult. But it's for someone who likes a little bit smaller of a bag. Oh, hi, Trish. Okay, so my 21 inch handles are now finished. So what I'm gonna do is tape my handles into place. Find the center here. And I'm gonna go ahead and snip my centers while I'm at it. Yeah, this is like the origami illusions. Oh, Alex. Hopefully that goes quick so you can get back into sewing. And then I follow the same method of attaching the handles. So only this time I'm going four inches from the top and then one and two inches out from the side or from the center, I should say. One and two inches from the center, lay that down. Okay, find my centers. She's so sleepy. Thank you, hanging out while I pack, yeah. Oh, Randy, awesome. I'm glad we could do it together. Okay. So again, four inches from the bottom, one and two inches from the sides, one and two. Um, and then if you have that uh, handle overlay, you can go ahead and use that. Of course, um, I just decided to not. Yep, you just print it out smaller. So you'd normally say like print at 100%, you just say print at 85% or smaller or a little bit bigger. I don't often resize patterns and I really don't think that this one needs it at all, but 
I am prepping for a show and I just have a feeling that more people are gonna want like smaller bags. I usually hear that anyway. Like, do you have any smaller bags? But yeah. Hello, Enchanting Breeze. We are live just for you, not for anyone who's watching in the future. I know it can be confusing. And then I just, oh, that was too much. So in the center. So I just kind of reverse the way that's sewn just to make it go a little bit quicker. So instead of sewing on the outside, I sew it on the inside. April, I just got one of your leather pens and I'm in love. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, the refills are on Amazon. They're just the Tandy Leather Marking Pencil refills. But yeah, I'm super glad I worked with a supplier to find something to put those in. It makes it so much easier. Um, if you guys watched my mini NCW video, thank you. But what I didn't include was I broke a needle <laughs> and I almost ruined my machine. I just thought I would share that with you guys because <laughs> I was terrified. Like I broke a needle and it went into my feed dogs and kind of made some divots. And then I had some issues with skip stitches. <laughs> it was terrifying. I think we're okay, but... Yeah, it was terrifying. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna give her five more minutes. Echo, set a timer for five minutes. Also, I'm sorry to anyone who's watching who has an Echo who now has a timer set for five minutes. <laughs> okay. So I don't add any rivets to the handles or anything like that, but you could. Um... <laughs> It broke as I was attaching the card slots. Yeah, so when I like folded over and started a seam, I reversed as the needle was going down. So I reversed too quickly. So it kind of went in at an angle because I was trying to reverse and keep going. Gotta go slower than that. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the front pockets. These are just interfaced with um, a woven interfacing and then um, so fuse plus and I've really been enjoying so fuse plus in place not always in place of Decaville light because nothing can replace Decaville light but on these smaller bags where it's not as crucial it's kind of nice to have a cheaper alternative you know um, so that's from Castine Handcrafted. I almost said Castine because of the handcrafted. And I'm not so great with words. Okay. I love how it looks like a cat. Yeah, kind of. All right. Decaville Light is getting so hard to find. Oh, man. Um, do cereal bag makers not have it? I don't know. I bought two rolls from them last April of 2019, and I still have, like, a roll and a half. So, I just, I use it sparingly. Very sparingly. Okay. I never picked a zipper tape. Yeah, Sophia's Plus is so great. It's so great. 
All right, I gotta pick out a zipper. I have black nickel hardware. Oh my goodness, is this a perfect zipper tape? Mm, I mean, it's not not, but I don't know how black nickel would work with it. So we'll find something else. Black nickel. I have purple, I have like pink, black. Sorry guys, my hips are hurting. A midnight rainbow would be good. We do light pink, midnight rainbow. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Main zipper, inner zipper. Okay. Sorry, I was just talking to myself. Oh yeah, the glue dot the glue dots do kind of go everywhere. Mine at 85% without handles turned out good. Glad I could steal part of your idea. Um, did I make my chair cushion? Yes, I did. Um, I actually have a video for it too in the quick sew playlist. Just a pillow cover made out of knit. She's asleep. Good job, babe. Good job. No. Cindy. All right, so I've got maybe an hour now that she's asleep to finish this bag, which should be doable. I feel like once these pockets are on, like it's just super quick. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, I can't. That origami illusions matches the poison apple pastel so well. <sighs> Crazy. Um, so I'm not basting that into place just yet. Um, I got a little bit of soot on the vinyl. Hopefully I can get that off with some hand sanitizer. Yeah, I know. I want to add a bow to it so badly, but not everything needs a bow. You need to calm down. Hmm. Okay. So there is my 
center. We'll come up a little bit. Three is the center. <laughs> Says who? All the bows. Alex, you're right. <laughs> Hi, Aslan. Okay, nameplate added, and it is face up. That is good. Oh, yeah, bow on a tassel would be super cute. <laughs> mo bows, mo better. I like it. Okay, so my exteriors are finished. I still have time to consider adding a bow. We shall see. I'm gonna work on my lining pieces now. We're gonna add a slip pocket and a zippered pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and snip my centers now. Hopefully you guys can see okay, yeah, there we go. Um, for this, I add a six inch zippered pocket. So I'm just using my little ruler here. Um, I'm really excited. There is um, a company, I'll have to see if I have their info really quick, um, but they do 3D printed patterns. And so far they've really only done the H2O Go, H2O2 Go from Lynn's Handmade. Um, but my husband has a resin printer and I was like, hey, can you use a three, can we get you a 3D printer and you can make me some templates? Because Tops and Bobbins, um, they've been so busy, they haven't been able to add new patterns. So I'm excited to make my own templates. Um, I would never sell them. Um, maybe at some point I would sell like little tools, maybe, that we come up with. But I would never sell templates because you need permission from the designers and whatnot. We'll leave that to Tops and Bobbins and other companies, but I'm really excited at the idea of 3D printing templates. Especially for something that's like an 85% Erica or anything like that. Makes my life a little bit easier. Um, yeah, no, I really, I just wouldn't sell it. I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to ship them <laughs> or anything like that. Where is Sophie's Plus from? It's from Cast Time Handcrafted. And I'm using black nickel zipper pulls with the Midnight Rainbow zipper tape. I just ordered the zipper template. That it is a real game changer. I agree. I love mine. It doesn't seem like it would be a game changer. It's one of those things like, I mean, yeah, but it makes it just go so quickly. Um, Sofius Plus is not the same as Decaville Light. Um, I would say Sofius Plus is closer to like a woven craft fuse. Like an 809, but better. Um, 
But yeah, it's really great. I've definitely been enjoying using it. I've also really been enjoying the um, double-sided tape from Wizardry, Stitchery, and Crafts. I don't know if there's any for pre-order or if it was a retail thing they have now. I don't know. I hate pre-orders. Speaking of pre-orders, the shirts, um, if you guys pre-ordered a shirt, they should be shipping soon to me and then we'll get them out to you. Um, I may need to send some emails because the company told me that they couldn't get some of the shirts in the pastel rainbow. So I think there's some that's like neon rainbow and then some that's maybe just blue or pink. I don't know, but I'll send you pictures um, and you can decide if you'd like it or not. I hate pre -orders. Anyway. Um, if you ordered the hoodie, I don't think there were any, any issues with that. So, thank you for your patience. <laughs> um, it would be like a plastic pattern. It wouldn't be acrylic. I'd have to get like a laser cutter or a CNC machine if I wanted to do that. And I just, I don't think it's that serious. Um, before I end this video, I'll show you guys what the templates look like that are 3D printed. They're not amazing, but they're not bad. Oh, Sarah, that's okay. Um, I did order a couple extra in the sizes, so after the pre-order ship, I'll have a couple up for retail. All right, so I'm using the Wizardry Stitchery double-sided tape. It definitely has some good holding power. Um, I've been loving it on my zipper panels to help hold my zipper in place. <sighs> Piera, yeah. Laser cutters are evil. <laughs> and that's definitely something I kept in mind. I was like, mm, no. I do not sell the rainbow nippers. Um, they're from Amazon or famore.com. Oh, there are a lot of people watching and I appreciate you. Is there anyone who would be willing to, for a little bit of store credit, anytime I do a live video or even an uploaded video, if you would send me the links to put in the description <laughs> of what we talk about because I am lazy and spacey. Um, so if anyone's interested in that, please email me and we can talk about it or if I can get like two people that wouldn't mind doing it and then that one person doesn't have to watch all the videos um but yeah that would be that would change my life I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks now and I'm like I'm just so lazy people are like where are the links I'm like I don't know what did we talk about <laughs> um but yeah yes Alex absolutely that would be incredible Welcome to motherhood. Honestly, I think even before motherhood, I would forget to upload the links. Okay. So top stitching the top half of that. And you don't have to like email me the links back. You could just like Facebook message me those links and then I can just super quickly upload them. And it doesn't have to be like ASAP, you know, with like within some time. Because anything's quicker than what I would have done. All right, so I'm adding divided slip pockets. And I just sew like an eighth of an inch from the center line on the other side. Come back down. Come 
back around. And then I will just trim off the extra there. Oh, more little zipper bags to mail back. Yay! Heidi making the backyard caddy from Sally Tomato. That looks so cute. Uh, what brand of scissors do you use to cut thread? So I use the little Tula Pink Snippers or their Famore brand. Um, I think the Tula Pink ones are the Famore. They just say Tula Pink. I'm not sure. Um, but ugh. yeah, hopefully you can see. You can't see that, but it's Famore. Oh, thank you so much. Happy to help. Most of the time. Usually. More often than not. Okay, so now I can baste my lining panels into place as well. So I like my slip pocket to be on the front panel. And I'm just going to line up my centers. And then baste on the end. Make sure you fold your handles out of the way. had someone ask me about rainbow clips because they are currently sold out but they are returning um, I just placed another order for them and they should be here within like the next two weeks oh it's so cute all right so I'm just gonna set that in my dumb pile the next one, unzip your zipper to the middle, just in case. Probably should have used like a poison apple zipper pull on this, but I didn't. But I should have. Does your Echo have a notes app where you can just tell it to mark and then replay? No. Um, yes, Terry. Marilita is correct. The zipper sale is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central time. So I was hoping to do it at a time that would work well for a lot of different time zones. So hopefully that will work. And then those orders will ship out Friday. Um, if you're ever curious, like if you order on a Tuesday or a Thursday or even the weekend, we ship Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. More often than not. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're ordering and you need it ASAP or something that it's not gonna ship out. It may not ship out the exact day. Okay. So I also have my strap connector here cut to um, one and a half inch wide to account for three quarter inch hardware. You could definitely do one inch if you wanted. Um, what time is it here now? I believe it's one. No. What time is it? <laughs> Hold please. 109.
I know I always have to Google. Uh, there's a kids clothing brand that I love shopping from called Kate Quinn, and they have sales in Pacific Standard Time, so I always have to Google. No matter how many times I think I remember, like, oh, I'm two hours ahead. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to have to Google it. I'm cutting pattern pieces for the Vexa while watching you. I think I'm going to do Eric next. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We are five hours. Uh, EST, the sale will be at seven. Yes. And then I believe PST, the sale will be at four. Two hours ahead of Pacific time. Okay, so I've got these ready to go. And then I'm gonna work on the zipper panel. Um, so I have my zipper panel lining pieces cut to just these big rectangles. And I'm going to add double-sided tape to the vinyl. I'm going to have to order eighth inch wide from Waywack too to see how I like it. Um, because I really love that you can just rip this tape. Because it's thin enough. One less tool to grab. Okay, so I peeled off the tape. I've got my ironed zipper panel. Ooh, well. Gonna add a clip to the end just in case. And then I'm gonna lay this nice and straight. And then you can tape your lining in place if you wanted to as well. Um, but I'm just gonna clip it because I'm not as worried about the lining shifting in any way because I've cut the panel bigger than I need it to be. And then I'm going to iron the lining. <laughs> and sneeze. to get like a water cooler for my iron oh thank you I staple the end of my zipper oh perfect um Brittany asked if there will be scrap packs later I don't believe so this time we've been trying to throw into orders all of um, the different little pieces just because I think it's fun to give out freebies once in a while I will say I absolutely love how many people have been like, oh no, I got a piece of zipper in my order. Please let me know how to pay for it. And I'm like, no, it was a little freebie. We love you. Thank you. <laughs> like, it's just nice that they're still good in the world, I guess. People aren't trying to, oh, oh, oh I got a free ad, you know, I don't know. If you get something in your order, it was free. And it's because we love you. Not you specifically, but all of you. And it's not to say that if you didn't get something in your order, you aren't loved. <laughs> it's probably just because I forgot. Uh, what size did I cut this gusset piece? So I cut it um, the... Um, the percentage. So I multiplied it by the percentage to get the size. So I think I just multiplied all the pieces by like 0.875 or something like that, 0.825. Um, but I believe it's like 23 and a quarter. <laughs> Thanks, Cindy, I appreciate it. Um, I do not have the 1541. I have the 1181. Oh yeah, Kim. Thank you for reminding me too. I still need to make the donation from this month. I just kind of like to wait to see if like fabric gets returned. I don't know. 
Even though the fabric has completely sold out, I haven't made the donation just yet, but I will. And I'm excited too. All right, so I'm gonna iron this side. And then I top stitch through the lining and the exterior, making sure to pull on all my layers. And then when I get to the end of top stitching that, what color zips are you going to have? I need all the zippers. Iris, there is a video about the zipper release that shows all the colors and it's like just two minutes long. Okay, make sure your zipper pulls are in. And then I'm gonna lay my D-ring right over that center of the zipper. And then I'm just gonna baste all of these layers together. Look up. Um, I'm thinking our next round of zippers is gonna be like pastels though. We'll see. I never quite know. It's just so fun. Okay. So now I've got all of that basted and I'm just gonna trim off the excess. I know that um, Zorel did a line of pastel zippers too, so I never wanna like steal an idea, but I mean, pastels are pastels. It's not anyone's original idea. Um, and then someday I really, really, really wanna do a line of zippers that matches the waterproof canvas from FWD Fabrics, cause I think that would be so satisfying <laughs> when you're like working on a lining and you have a zipper that matches like absolutely perfectly. <laughs> Okay, so there is my zipper panel. And then I've got my exterior and my lining. So I'm laying my exterior into place, making sure my D-ring is flipped up and I'm gonna baste it into place. So I've got my exterior next to my exterior laying that all down. Basting that into place. So exterior with exterior and then right sides together for the lining. And I'm gonna flip this over and come in a little ways from my base. Making sure that fabric didn't get twisted or flipped. Okay. And then, I don't know if you guys watched the Zaneda backpack video, um, but I had an issue with my gusset that my exterior and my lining didn't quite meet up so I had a really weird um, like puckering situation. So what I've done to prevent it is I'm only top stitching through the exterior and I'm leaving the lining loose. So I'm leaving the lining flipped up and only top stitching through like my zipper panel and my exterior. And that is so. When I lay all of this together, um, more gold rivets. Um, go ahead and send me an email. I didn't realize they were out of stock. 
Um, I did just place a hardware order recently, so it should all be stocked within the next four weeks. Um, but I know that's a really long time. Okay, so I'm going to clip my lining fabric into place. And then when I get to these sides here, um, if for any reason the fabric weren't sitting just right, let's say my lining was too big, I'd be able to kind of fold it up if need be, and I wouldn't have any weird puckering on the exterior. Um, so that's just a little trick. But now everything looks good. So I'm just gonna baste along all sides. Well, the two sides. So now my gusset is done and my two main panels are completed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and work on my crossbody strap, but I have to go get more water. So I will be right back. Oh, I could use the water from my water bottle, but then I wouldn't have any water. So now I'll go ahead and work on the crossbody strap. Um, Rhonda says, how many hours a day do you sew? I used to sew all hours of the day. Um, but now with Dorothy, the most I would get to sew in a day is maybe four to six hours. just depends. She's getting a lot easier. I know that sounds terrible. She's a person. Um, but she's able to kind of entertain herself for at least 30 minutes at a time when we put her with something to play with. So that makes life a little bit easier. Um, she's not in daycare or anything. I think she's seven months old. Can you believe it? I feel like my sweater makes me look, I don't care. All right. So I've got that folded in and then we just fold those long raw edges in towards the center. I think you could use double-sided tape for this, but it just feels weird to do that with a cotton fabric. This is interface with just a woven interfacing. Yeah, a movie while sewing. I, ugh, I think about those days often. <laughs> Now 
not like, I miss them, I want that back, you know, but just like, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Someday she'll go to school and I'll miss her. Hi, Sharon. So yeah. Um, most of my work days are spent packing orders, cutting zipper tape, placing orders for items, stuff like that. So selling supplies has definitely cut drastically into my sewing time. Um, but I think we're about to hire a third person, so I'm really excited. Um, that iron is from Oliso. Um, that is my third version, my second replacement, so keep that in mind. They're super great, but they're not super reliable. Hopefully this one lasts pretty well. We'll see. Um, Angie, I definitely think this bag can be made on a domestic machine. Um, I know the pattern writer uses a domestic or a semi-domestic machine, so if you follow their instructions, I think you'll have an awesome time. Um, she's very conscious about how it's interfaced to keep it out of the seams. I don't interface it that way because it's not an issue for my machine but it definitely helps reduce bulk. Um, and then if you're not using waterproof canvas for the binding, I think you shouldn't have many issues, really. So I'm doing the crossbody strap right now because I have a fresh bobbin and I won't run out of thread. Mm. And because they're fairly quick. <laughs> we push each other's limits for sure. Yeah, I get that. Um, this is from Oro Rosa Patterns. And I love that this pattern is named after another pattern designer because they're like best friends. That's so sweet. All right. So I've added my slide adjuster onto one side. Um, and if you're confused on how to make a crossbody strap, I do have like a video showing a little bit more close up how to do it. But basically you just wanna make sure that this isn't twisted at all. And then you go over and under center bar pull that through and then add your other slide adjuster and again you can use one inch wide hardware if you prefer I just have a lot of three quarter inch wide hardware in stock. So I figured it'll work better with the size and shape of the bag. So why not? Okay. okay Crossbody strap is done. We can go ahead and work on putting all of these pieces together. Um, I've got my binding cut out. This is one inch wide waterproof canvas that I just rotary cut on there. 
Hi Kim, I've caught your live. I'm sat painting my latest picture, Art Today No Embroidery. Looking forward to receiving my lovely bag. I'm so excited for you to get that, Erica. Okay. I sent some extra fun goodies with it too. All right, so clipping and finding the centers. So then I'm going to stick the handle in that pocket so it's out of the way. Because I'm using a double sided zipper, I don't need to worry about which way this panel is attached. Just make sure that I find my centers. a lot of people asking about mini backpacks um, and I definitely want to make people happy with what I make and like if you're not making it to sell it is still for fun but the whole point for me anyway is to make to sell <laughs> and I'm just so tired of making mini backpacks <laughs> is anyone else burnt out I, I think I made at least 50 of the Deedlebug mini backpacks. And I'm just like, okay, can I be done? I wanna try and make some Linsport backpacks, um, but that front pocket is just too time consuming for production sewing. So I'm just, I could of course change it, but do I want to? I don't know. Do you guys have any other mini backpack patterns that you're like obsessed with? I know my friend Georgia with Fierce Kitten Patterns is working on one. Hopefully I can call her a friend too. Um, so I'm really excited to see hers. Okay. I don't make bags, but I do embroider shirts and I keep making the same shirt over and over and I'm burned out. Yeah, absolutely. I really love the Tree Coda by Country Cow Designs. Yeah, I need to try it. I haven't made any sling backpacks. Yeah, just make Erica little backpacks. They'd be so cute. I carry the Bailey backpack from Uh Oh Creations and find it really comfortable. I also got burnt out on the mini backpack. Oh, scaling down the trailblazer. That could be fun. I'm just trying to think like zipper panels take a lot of time, like um, recessed zipper panels. So like doing this one was really quick. So I almost wonder if I can just like modify this pattern or kind of sketch out my own and just do binding. I like the size of the lens board and I like the way that the strap connectors are attached because I feel like in the seam with binding, you're really going to um, risk like stitching over that too many times. Oh, the full-size Elena did it differently, I bet. I make it quickly by skipping all the pockets and do the front the same way you do. Oh, very cool. I've made the sling and the lens backpack. I made it larger to fit a Chromebook, so it's not mini. The Wayfarer sling. Oh, nice. All right, it's giving me a lot to think about. Um, I have a couple of the convertible backpack from Oliver Hart Designs on my to-do list and I'm gonna see like how quickly I can make those. I think I think I have three or four cut out. I can't remember but I'm excited to see them because I'm kind of using up scraps for them. So like the front um, fabric will be the printed fabric and then um, the 
flap will be printed, but then the rest will be vinyl. So I'm excited to see how that goes. The Wayfair sling is a lot of work, yeah. And see, that's, I'm not necessarily trying to avoid like a lot of work, I'm just wanting to keep the price reasonable. So if it takes me like four hours to sew, that's not gonna work. All right, so I'm trimming down the seam allowance just a little bit. We add the binding. There we go. All right. And then you can finish the bag and then add the binding, but I like to add the binding as I'm sewing each side. And then when, like, I'm done with the last side. I'm done. Oh yeah, the NCW is fairly easy. And there's so many great videos out there on how to make it and change it up. I think that's so cool. I'm pretty burnt out on the NCW, yeah. It's been a while since I've like batch sewed NCWs and I batch sewed some mini NCWs um, like last year at some point and got burnt out for sure. <laughs> but making that one was nice. And that's like one of the reasons I don't really want to do any custom orders is like I, I just want to make what I want to make when I finally have the time to sit down and sew I just want to make what I want to make <laughs> um but I know that's not really reasonable all right so we're adding the binding do you guys want me to change up the camera angle it's not a question. I'm doing it.
Okay. Um, the binding is cut to one inch wide. Um, and I actually just bought a yard of each color of the waterproof canvas to spend an afternoon one day just cutting out strips of binding to have on hand um, because that's something that limits me when I go to make a bag with binding is I'm like, well, if I can't easily cut the binding, I don't want to use this color. I mean, like, even half a yard of waterproof canvas, that's going to get you at least nine bags worth of binding. So. Yeah, waterproof binding, game changer. Blows my mind. I have to make some Tribbiani's. Um, well, one's a custom order she hasn't paid, but um, the other one is just because it's faster to cut out two than just cutting out one. If you're already there. Okay. Uh, yes, one left. Made for the fairest of them all. Um, 
speaking of new machines, a friend of mine, Willow and Luna, um, Aaron, she's getting a Texo, I believe it's an 8400, 5400, 450, um, some collection of numbers and a Texo. And it looks insane. It's got the needle positioner, it has a laser guide for straight, I guess. Um, it looks amazing. It's got the edge guide. Um, so I'm excited to hear how she likes it. It is a cylinder arm, but does have flatbed attachment, which makes me like, why don't you just try to use your cylinder arm? But she and I just, we don't get along. 4800 Pro. I have it. It's amazing. Oh. I wish I had room for like all of the sewing machines. apologize to my tripod or to you guys I'm sure <sighs> yeah that's true I mean if there's anyone I trust as far as machine um, recommendation it would be you Pierre but only if you tell me in all caps. Just saying. Okay. Last step on this bag. Okay. So now we're ready to flip it. Flip it good. Um, so the binding stitches actually, the way I do it anyway, is kind of make it further into the seam allowance. If you're following the same exact line, you're going to risk perforating it. Um, so like my original stitch line is there and then this is where I've sewn. So it's just like an eighth of an inch back into the seam allowance. And I don't necessarily try to do it that way. It just kind of always works out that way. I've just got a little tiny thread that didn't get quite snipped well enough. <laughs> yes, this one will be for sale too. I'm just trying to build inventory for a show that I have in July. And man, what I love about making the same bag, like a grouping of the same bag, not necessarily like the entire thing, 
um, but is like when they're next to each other, it's just so satisfying. <laughs> Have you ever messed up a zipper when you turn it? Um, trying to think. I haven't recently. Um, but I know there was one time I ripped something. I think it was when I was using like regular cotton. I like ripped a zipper pocket completely. Um, and it ruined the entire bag. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this bag will be on my website eventually. It's going to be 105. I feel like she's still sleeping, so we should probably try to add a little bow tassel. What are your thoughts? So cute. Um, when I did markets, it's so satisfying seeing all the inventory lined up. So true. Um, Tiffany, I love this bag. So I will show you before this video is over this compared to the regular size and then those templates made out of 3d printed materials. Um, but like, I think it's still a really good size. Um, it's probably similar in cubic inches to the Lola um it's just a little bit wider like it would fit an NCW really well um and like a smaller notebook that kind of thing I think it's super cute okay let's grab a scrap of vinyl and a half inch snap hook okay black nickel half inch snap hook Take a break from grading. Okay. Here's my scrap bin. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut this will be my connector and then can you guys see? yeah you guys can see okay um this will be my bow and i'm gonna use this as the center of the bow we'll see how these work out So I have two more of those mini Erica's to cut out. No, to sew. Um, I have a Snorlax one and then a Harry Potter books one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is double-sided tape down the center of my connector. I'm more interested in watching than painting. Will this work out the way I hope it will? Maybe not. We'll, we'll find out. Making like fun little tassels and keychains for bags used to be one of my favorite things. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna use double-sided tape to put this together. may regret that. Who knows? It's 
so cute. Alright. Probably should have just done raw edges on this vinyl, but oh well. If I don't love making bows. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have an idea. Here's what we're going to do. So I'm sewing right sides together on this loop to flip it. Oh, did I mess it up? No, I just flipped it too far. Okay. Did I mess it up? No. Okay. There we go. So then we've got it like that. Julie, I have done like a bow tutorial sort of, um, but honestly, I just eyeball it every single time. I don't even try. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then I'm just going to add a rivet to the top to like hold it in place. Yes, but first, I'm going to tape the bow. It's so like everything I'm doing, I'm just making up as I go. So this is your tutorial. Just cut some squares that look satisfying. Fold it. Um, and I make and sell hair bows, so if I seem like a bow making wizard, it's because I've spent at least a sixteenth of my life just sitting on the couch making hair bows. <laughs> Most of them were with hot glue, but still. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't think I can like safely sew this into place. So it's just going to be the rivet that I attach. Okay. I'm missing comments. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I feel like the bag kind of just dictates the size of the bow. All right. So I'm going to add a rivet and just going to make a little hole as close as I can to the bow. So I didn't go through the bow fabric or anything. It's not great, but it's fine. Oh, there's my pop socket. I could also use like a bit of glue to help hold it in place, but it's cute. It's cute. Okay, that's cute. Um, and then this can still clip through both of the zipper pulls to be like a little anti-theft situation. So yeah, put a bow on it, guys. Just do it. 
follow your dreams, put a bow on it. Um, I think something else that could be really cute is widening the gusset on this. Um, do I ever add beads to my bags? I don't. I used to want to make zipper pulls with like beads and charms and stuff, but I'm just too lazy. So yeah, that is the Erica. Okay, we're not done yet. We're gonna go look at those templates and the mini Erica versus the regular Erica. That's a sticker right there. Just put a bow on it. Okay, so this one is still a mini Erica as well. Oh. Not lazy. Otherwise focused. They're so cute. Okay, this will be easier if I just take it off the tripod. I do apologize. Um, so here are those template pieces. I don't think there was any shop information except for the package. Um, but they're so cool. I love the way they're labeled. Back pocket liner, D-ring holder, stuff like that. Um, and it was actually pretty easy to um, rotary cut around. Okay. Mm. Okay, so it was from Adam... Adam and Carol something on Etsy, I think. Anyway. Okay. Here is a full-size Erica. Yeah, those were done on a 3D printer. There's where Dorothy plays. Sorry for the mess. Try not to make it too shaky. So there is the Erica at 100% compared to this one. So like, it's still a really nice size. It's a couple inches shorter. If I put you back on the tripod. Flip it. I could show you on the body. So I don't know, like it's it's definitely smaller, but like this is just a really big I don't know, it's not even like really big. It's the size of bag that I would like. Um, but this one's just so cute. Yeah, right, they're good size. I don't know if it's small enough for a little girl. Maybe like a teenager, you'd probably wanna shrink it down even more for a little girl. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll hold on a second to see if you guys have any other questions about the zipper release that's happening tomorrow at 6 p.m. Or just any other questions in general. Sweet pea-ish. Yeah, like um, from Blue Cala, the sweet pea. I think that's what it is. I really think you could make that into a backpack. 
Um, hold on and let me see if I can. Um, yes, the gusset is changed in size. Um, yeah, I think it would be a cute backpack. Honestly, I've been carrying um, my Valora bag this way when I go out places because I'm usually like wearing Dorothy. So, I mean, really any bag can be a backpack if there's a crossbody strap and you just put it on your back. <laughs> just saying. Oh no, but I mean, it looks like Sweet Pea. Okay, I get you. I get you. Okay. Um, where do I get my leather? So the leathers I use are from Springfield Leather Co. or from Tandy. I don't think I really purchased from anywhere else. Um, there's Hughes Hides there on Instagram, and I think they have a website. And there is Peggy Sue Also Leather that I've purchased from gonna squat um crossbody straps are usually the width of the fabric so like 54 to 52 inches um but if a customer needs it wider I do cut it wider these are all the other bags I need to cut in her face I'm super excited to make them though um, I think I have like six ugly naked guy hobos, and that's from Sincerely Jen Patterns. I haven't made one in a while, and I can't remember if I really loved it or like just kind of loved it. <laughs> I need like a pattern rating system. Um, yes, surely, hopefully, <laughs> someone will help me out with all those links, <laughs> and they'll be in the description eventually. Uh have I heard of the leather guy? I don't think so. I'll, I'll need a link. Oh, 13 bags for a Friday. That sounds good. Sending so much strength, Alex. Seriously. Ah, oh, you're the best. Um, best backpack diaper bag. I personally have been loving the fun Bobby backpack, but I know that there is the time for, no, the Teddy backpack from RLR Creations that people rave about. But... The Fun Bobby works for me. I'm also using the Lin Sport mini backpack that I made wider as a diaper bag, um, but that's just um, for like little outings. It's not huge. All right. Well, I have to go get Dorothy up from her nap. Um, she's at about an hour. And uh, I will see you guys later. Uh, where did you get the trays you keep the pattern cutouts in? They're just a project cart from Michaels or Amazon. Um, okay. Bye.